In the news tonight, cop charged with stealing service weapon interdicted police cadet officer in custody after allegedly threatening to shoot his reputed wife. The gun was illegal. And a woman cheer. Valdo Lawrence won the chairmanship of the People's National Congress reform. News in depth begins now. First up, a police constable was charged with stealing a police gun. The 21-year-old constable of Tushan East Bank Esequibo is attached to Impact Base at Brigdam. Today, Colonel Paul appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan, charged with stealing a .38 special revolver, a holster, and six .38 live ammunition valued at $235,000. $750, property of the Guyana Police Force. The young man pleaded not guilty to the charge. His attorney Paul Fongofat, in his bail application to the court, said that his client is the sole breadwinner for his wife, who is currently five months pregnant. According to Fongofat, on the day in question, his client was the driver of the impact based vehicle and uplifted the revolver as he began his duties. However, he forgot his keys, and while in search of the set keys, he left the gun in the vehicle. It was when he returned to the vehicle that he discovered the weapon was missing. The lawyer said the matter was immediately reported to the woman sergeant who was the officer in charge at the time. Police Prosecutor Inspector Neville Jeffers made no objection to the constable being granted bail. The chief magistrate placed Paul on $200,000 bail at first, but after another plea from his lawyer, who said that his client could not afford that amount, the magistrate reduced it to $150,000. Paul will make his next court appearance on August 24th. Hey, looky there. Let me go to the techie boots. Boots? Get lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't get my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh, and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4, and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep. Eccles Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. Karibi Rice. From the lush rice fields of Guyana, straight to your home. Welcome back. An interdicted police cadet officer is in custody after he allegedly threatened to shoot his reputed wife. The gun was illegal. Man's beer. 
Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 mm. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 mm. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard-earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. Buy quality. Buy Comfort Sleep mattresses. Applications can be sent along with a photograph to Drake's Royston at gmail.com. They don't know my ladies, them a big deal. Martin and Dawson to the fullest. You see me? It's a big deal. It was just after midnight when Congress players went up in an uproar as Minister of Public Health, Vola Lawrence, was announced the new chairman of the People's National Congress Reform at the 20th Biennial Delegates Congress. <laughs> Lawrence secured 346 votes, while incumbent Basil Williams, who also served as Attorney General, finished with 183 votes, as third in a three-man race, which saw Minister of State Joseph Harmon securing 287 votes. After a rigorous campaign, Lawrence told her opponents, we played a good relay. She said, it just shows collectively what can be done, not only for the party, but for the people of this country. I do not bring gold or silver, but what I bring is a heart for the people of Guyana. I pledge to walk the walk and to talk the talk to ensure, to ensure one, that we remain in government for the next five, the next five, the next five, the next five, the next five. Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Annette Ferguson, with 260 votes, and Minister of Social Cohesion, Dr. George Norton, with 242 votes, were elected to serve as Vice Chairman. Minister Ferguson says she's ready to serve her people. And first of all, I just want to thank my comrades and all the groups for supporting me during this journey. I know I've worked hard. They know my, my, my performance in this party. They know my commitment to this party. And I just want to say thank you. I will not let you down. Whatever I promised on my campaign, I will deliver. Both Basil Williams and Harmon said the party has spoken as they offered congratulations to Lawrence. We, we, it's a sign for women, the party has spoken, the woman has won, and we will support, I will support the woman. So congratulations to the woman. The party has won for this. I think that this is a historic moment in our party, when we have an opportunity now to work together to build our party. I believe it is nothing, I don't see a defeat here, I see that we have won all out of this. Because